this is sort of a, a what we call amplified RNA vaccine. Uh, and when he first immunized some mice with it, um, we saw robust immune responses in just a single dose within two weeks after the immunization. And I hadn't ever seen that before with any other candidate nucleic acid vaccine. So that got us very excited. Uh, and we realized that we may be, you know, onto a, you know, sort of a rapid response vaccine to, to the COVID-19. So we quickly accelerated that program forward and said, well, the next step was to test it into a preclinical model, which is non-human primates. This was the first time I'd ever seen a nucleic acid vaccine induce uh, protective levels of antibody in a monkey after only single immunization. So that uh, uh, was very exciting for us. And together, that's what this paper really reports. It expresses a protein that allows the cell to make multiple copies of that RNA. And by making multiple copies, it's able to produce more of the protein. And more protein usually means a better immune response. In addition, that signal to make more RNA is also a, a signal to the host immune response to, to, uh, to make even a, a stronger immune responses. So if we're going to develop uh, you know, a pandemic vaccine, a vaccine that's going to uh, protect against pandemic, it's gonna require some key things. And one is it should be able to induce immunity in a single immunization. The other one is that it needs to be able to be rapidly distributed worldwide. So it has to be stable and being stable more at room temperature for at least several months is gonna enable that. The third piece is that once you actually have a vaccine made, you have to be able to manufacture it at billions of doses. And you have to have that a, a type of formulation and a type of vaccine that's capable of quick uh, manufacture and production, and in a cost-effective manner as well. And so our vaccines touches on all these three different areas that we, as we uh, attempt, uh, designed it. One of the important things that we showed in our manuscript that, uh, you know, we've addressed for the first time that no other vaccine for SARS-CoV-2 has yet addressed is the capability of this vaccine to induce really strong immune responses in both aged as well as young mice. Uh, and so we were excited to see that because that means this particular vaccine would have a capability of vaccinating the elderly as well as, um, you know, the younger population. So there's a heightened sense of energy, a purpose, and, uh, you know, the whole mission in terms of, uh, you know, being able to get this out, um, not just to meet this, this challenge, but to get it out as quickly as possible. Because, you know, the, as long as it takes to develop a vaccine, more and more people are still going to become infected and, and die from this disease. So it just feels much more purposeful for us right now. So we're going to learn a lot in terms of how we actually quickly respond to pandemics, how we use these tools to mobilize and, and get to the forefront of this as quick as possible. And I'm hoping that the lessons we learn now uh, are really going to play and be very important for us for when the next pandemic strikes. Because there will always be, as long as there's people and animals we're living in the world, <laughs> there will be pandemics and there will be future outbreaks that hopefully we can respond to much more quickly and shut it down before it gets a chance to go global. This is R the RNA vaccine itself, just looks like water. And so if you deliver, if you, you know, deliver this by itself, it's not gonna go into cells very efficiently and it's gonna get degraded really quickly. Um, and this provides the, the vehicle, the delivery vehicle that complexes with the RNA. Here we can just make the RNA in its own process, store that, and then we can add, uh, at the bedside, you just do the formulation. That's the formulated material. And so that's ready to, to go in in an intramuscular injection. Um, and that formulation is going to protect it and it's going to enhance uptake into the muscle cell. So these five were taken from before they were vaccinated. And then you can see that the antibodies, even at these really high dilutions, this is equivalent to almost one to a million. We've diluted the serum one to a million times and you can still see a yellow signal here.